Peter from Detroit wonders, is it once saved, yeah. always saved? Once I'm baptized, delivered, come to Christ, can I ever lose that panel? Pastor Banks. Uh, <clears throat> 1 Timothy 4.1 says, Now the Spirit speaketh uh, expressively that in the latter time some shall depart from the faith, giving heed to seducing spirits and doctrines of the devil. So what that is saying, that you could be saved walking with God, sold out in the church, preaching every Sunday. But in the latter days, there's people going to give room to seducing spirits. Seducing spirits is going to su seduce them. Uh, people who have itching ears, they're going to go along with counterfeit doctrines. They're going to walk away from the true faith of God, and they're going to go into other faiths. Mm -hmm. Praise the Lord. Pastor Maui. Um, <clears throat> yes, let me say, Pete, um, I do not um, go along with the idea of once you're saved, you're always saved, because the Apostle Paul gives us uh, too many instances where uh, um, the idea that you can lose your salvation. He didn't say that for nothing. And I would, and I would point you to Hebrews chapter 10, verse 26. It says, if we deliberately keep on sinning after we have received the knowledge of the truth, no sacrifice for sin is left. Only a fearful expectation of judgment and of raging fire that will consume the enemies of God. Anyone who rejected the law of Moses died without mercy on the testimony of two or three witnesses. Now get this in verse 29. How much more severely do you think a man deserves to be punished who has trampled the Son of God underfoot, who has treated as an unholy thing the blood of the covenant that sanctified him, okay, this is talking about a, a saved person, and who has insulted the Spirit of grace? Um, um, I, I say that you can lose your salvation and if you return to your sins after being washed from them. Praise the Lord.